Hi, welcome to Centre Life Balance. My name's Colin Donohoe, and in this video, I'm going to give you some simple guidelines for stepping in Tai Chi and in Qigong. These stepping instructions will be predominantly focused on your opening and closing of the form and the Qigong set. So in Tai Chi and in Qigong, we start always with the feet together. When you're in this position, this is a good time to check yourself for relaxation. Check that your body is straight, that your neck is relaxed, and that your head is suspended from above. From here, the next movement is to sink the weight by bending the knees. Maintaining your straight alignment, we're then going to lift the heel of the left foot and step out about shoulder width apart with the toes touching down first, then the heel, and then shifting the weight to the center. This is the beginning posture. Now some things that you want to be aware of when you're in this particular posture, especially if you're going to be doing your Qi Gong set, it's important that both feet are pointing in the same direction. If one foot, for example, is pointing out to the right or to the left, you're going to open the body up more to one side than it is to the other, creating an imbalance within the body. This imbalance is going to affect your posture and your structure. So we want to make sure that both feet are pointing straight ahead. We also want to make sure that both feet are on the same line. The heels should be in line with each other on a straight line. If one foot is more ahead of the other, even if it's only by an inch or two, it's going to create an imbalance and twisting in the body. And when you start to do your Qigong exercises, your body is going to be slightly out of balance from the beginning. So it's important to make sure that you've got your feet in the right place before you start your practice. This will ensure that you get the most out of the movement and that you're training your posture and your body for balance and correct alignment. Another thing I want to add, and you can take this or leave it, but it's important if you want to really develop good balance and good alignment to wear flat soled shoes for Tai Chi and for Qigong. The reason for this is because when you wear shoes, shoes that have a thicker heel, your feet are naturally going to be more up in the air. The heels are going to be raised. And when your heels are raised, you're always going to have more engagement in the forward part of the legs than if you can have flat shoes and you can sink down easier into the heels. The other thing that you want to keep in mind when it comes to your standing practice or with your Qigong is that you want to, as most as possible, or as often as possible, use flat surfaces for your practice. If you're standing on ground that is a sloping hill, your body is going to be already in the incorrect position. So you want to make sure that the ground that you're practicing on is as flat as possible. If you're going to be moving around, as in with Tai Chi forms, you want to ensure that the whole area that you're working in is as flat and level as possible, because any ups and downs in the ground surrounding you is going to affect your balance in the movements. So when you're finished and ready to close the stance, we're going to, in reverse, sinking the weight into the right foot, stepping in with the left, and straighten the body. That concludes this video. If you like this instruction, please subscribe and like this channel, and I can send you more videos like this in the weeks to come. Thank you.